This time on Kemp Outside, we review the 20 amp lithium battery charger from Watt Cycle. Check it out. Hey guys, Kevin here with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. I just got done doing a review on this 100 amp hour mini from Watt Cycle. What an awesome little battery, guys. If you haven't seen that review, I'm gonna put a link right up here where you can check that out. But I just did a capacity test on this battery. It passed with flying colors. I think it was like 102.9 uh, amp hours. Uh, I can't quite remember what the number was, but watch the video if you wanna know for sure. Definitely over 100 amp hours, but it's completely drained now and I need to charge it up. Well, I am in luck because not only did Watt Cycle send me this 100 amp hour mini, they also sent me this 12 volt, 20 amp lithium battery charger. So I wanna thank Watt Cycle for sending this to me and allowing me to do the review. I'm super excited about it. Guys, if you have lithium batteries, you need lithium battery chargers. You can't just hook them up to your old car battery chargers that you might have lying around the shop. You know, the ones that are, you know, super ancient that grandpa used to, to charge lawnmower batteries with and stuff. You can't use those on lithium batteries. You need a lithium battery charger. Lithium batteries require a specific charging profile in order to be properly charged and maintained. A lithium battery charger will do that. You need to make sure that you have a lithium battery charger. If your charger does not say suitable for lithium batteries, don't use it. You can certainly save those chargers for all your sealed lead acid and AGM batteries that you have. I've got AGM batteries still in pontoon fish on my trolling motors. One of these days they're gonna get switched over to lithium, but I just bought those batteries about a year ago, so I expect I'm gonna get about four more years of use and I'm not gonna throw away good batteries. So I'm gonna use those and then when they're done, I'm gonna switch over to lithium. But guys, I can use those chargers for, for those kind of stuff. Your car batteries, you know, your main starting batteries in your cars are all either sealed lead acid or, or, or AGM these days. You know, those chargers are still good for that. But if you're going to buy lithium batteries, you need to get a lithium battery charger. And what? And if you're getting a watt cycle battery, why not get a watt cycle charger? So first things first, guys, just looking at it, it's in a nice metal case. There's some good heat sinks on here. There's a fan. And guys, when you run this, you will definitely hear it, right? So, you know, charging produces you know heat and that heat needs to be dissipated and so by having a nice aluminum case with a exhaust fan uh, will really help with that on one side you have the cable connections nicely terminated to connect to your battery and i'm not exactly sure how long that is but it looks like it's plenty long enough at least for my needs and then on the other side it's your standard like uh like pc you know uh like I have a bunch of these for computer monitors is kind of what I kind of what I think about them. But there's a standard three prong, you know, 120 volt AC outlets. And so what you do and what makes this really easy, guys, because there's no on or off switch. Right. This is this, if this is plugged in, it's on. So what you do is you connect this side to your battery. And then once everything is connected and you're sure that red is red and black is black, right? Positive, positive and negative is negative. Then you go ahead and plug this side into the charger and you plug that side into the wall and you're ready to rock and roll. It's really, really simple plug and play. Let's talk a little bit about how this works, right? So there are three charging modes or stages in a lithium battery charge. So Watt Cycle calls those T1, T2, and T3. And when you get this charger, it will come with a little instruction manual Right, and so I'm gonna to refer to this instruction manual just to make sure I get everything right. So the bottom line is, is T1 is the pre-charge stage, right? So that's if your battery is really below uh, its normal threshold for voltage, or it's unable to handle high current charging for some reason, maybe the battery needs repair, maybe it needs to be activated. Some of these batteries have like a sleep mode kind of thing when they're not in use, they kind of go to sleep. And so a charger needs to wake them up to kind of turn them on and say, hey, you know, it's time to work. So typically the T1 stage is really, really short. So you're gonna see, you know, well, you're not gonna see it because there's no indicator that tells you what stage the charger is in until it's already charged. But typically that, that uh, the charger will go through a T1 stage really, really fast. It's low, uh, relatively low voltage. And then it will go into the fast charge stage, which is T2, right? And so this is the 
normal charging stage for lithium chargers, right? So it's a it's a high voltage, you know, it's a, it, with a with a constant current, right? And once the voltage of the battery rises above 14 volts, uh, then the battery will switch into the third stage, the T3 stage, which is the constant voltage charging stage. And this is basically, it kind of tops off the battery, right? So the charging current will gra gradually, gradually decrease. So the current is 20 amps. So when it's in T2, it's giving you full 20 amps into the battery, you know, charging it as hard as it can. Uh, and then once the battery is almost charged and it goes into that constant voltage charging stage, it starts to decrease the amperage until the battery is fully charged, right? So, and then once that's done, the charger will shut off. And the way you know that it's done, number one is you will hear that exhaust fan turn off, right? So that's really simple. The other thing is, is that on the unit, and you'll see it when I plug it in, but right here, there is a light, okay? And that light will do one of three things when it's, when it's powered on. If it is showing green, it's showing that the battery is fully charged or not connected, right? So if you have this plugged in, right, which you shouldn't, but if you do have it plugged in, because these wires, these wires will be loose and maybe they'll even be touching. And I'm sure this has protection in it to not do anything if that happens. But if it's plugged in and the battery is not connected, it'll, it'll glow green. Also, if it's connected to the battery and it's fully charged, it will glow green. If it's on in a constant red, that means the battery is being charged. And it's in one of those three stages, T1, T2, or T3. But it's still being charged. It hasn't met fully charged yet. And if it's flashing red, then you know you've got a problem, right? So the charger is detecting a problem. Maybe it's an over temperature protection. If you're charging in a really hot environment or this doesn't have enough ventilation, it will shut off to protect itself. It might have uh, an output short protection, which means something went wrong internally in the unit. And so it's putting out more than it should. And so it will protect. If it has reverse polarity, meaning you connected the red to the black and the black to the red, that's reverse polarity. It will protect and will, will shut off and flash red. Or it has an output over voltage protection and it'll flash red. So. If there's something wrong either with the way you hooked it up or there's something wrong with the charger or there's something wrong internally with the battery, all of those things can happen, right? It will flash red and basically not put out an output voltage to try and charge the battery. So uh, guys, it's a very, very simple unit. I'm gonna get it hooked into this 100 amp hour mini and plug it in and show you how it works, at least how it's charging the battery. I expect that because this is completely drained, it's going to take at least five hours to, to charge the battery. I think that uh, T1 will be really short. T2 will take, you know, pretty close to five hours. You know, it's a 100 amp hour battery at 20 amps per hour. You know, it takes five hours. And then obviously that T3, the topping off the battery, will take a little bit of time as it ramps the current down. So I'm thinking about five hours and it'll be done. I'm probably just going to plug it in and let it run overnight because I'm shooting this kind of late at night. But who knows, if I'm up long enough, I'll finish this video uh, before I go to bed. If not, you'll see me in a different shirt because I'll be shooting a video tomorrow. Let's get it hooked up. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have this hooked up. I have red with red, black with black. Very important. I'm going to put my little uh, terminal protectors on there. Not that I think I'm going to have a problem, but I always like to run those. And so now I'm ready to plug in the power. So I'm just gonna plug this in right over here and you'll hear it spool up. Okay, when I first turned it on, as it was reading the battery, it was showing a green light. Then it recognized that the battery needed to be charged. It's now glowing red. Hopefully you can see that, right? And uh, you can hear the fan. It's definitely moving a lot of air. I can feel it. And so we're gonna let that run and see how long it takes. All right, guys, so it finished charging. Uh, it took several hours. I 
wasn't monitoring it, so I'm not exactly sure when it shut off. My guess is around, you know, like I said, five, six hours or so to go completely through the cycle. And as you can see, the green light is now on. So what I would do is just disconnect it here at the power cord, and then it will be ready to be disconnected from the battery. All right, guys, so there you have it. It's the 12 volt, 20 amp, lithium iron phosphate battery charger from Watt Cycle. Really simple to use, you know, really nice. If I was gonna change one thing, and this is definitely uh, some input for, for Watt Cycle, is if they could put feet on it so it could be mounted, right? If you wanted to use this in an application where it was always connected to the system, it would be really nice to have uh, some, some mounting feet. So if there was like an L bracket, you know, off the back with some uh, mounting holes or something like that, that would be about the only thing I could think of that would be an easy, easy change that would make this product better. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to have to mount this in my GoBox build that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna build a, a basically a portable power station. Think of like a Jackery or a Blue Eddy or something like that. I'm gonna build one using this battery. So everything's gonna be contained inside of a Plano storage trunk. And I'm going to need to mount this to a board inside that trunk. And so I'm either going to back these screws out and make an L bracket, or I'm just going to zip tie it to the board uh, with some heavy duty zip ties, which is probably what I'm gonna do. Probably try that first, and then if I'm not satisfied with that, then I'll go ahead and make uh, an L bracket. But I really don't wanna have to do that, so I'm gonna try and zip tie it. But I do, I really like it, and um, you know, maybe, one other thing would be if it was Bluetooth and you could run an app on your phone to see what your charging stage was, uh, that would be pretty cool. But battery chargers who offer that are, you know, a lot more expensive than this this charger. So maybe that's in the future for Watt Cycle. I know they're adding Bluetooth to their batteries and if they're adding Bluetooth to their batteries, who knows, they might put out a, a, a charger in the future that's Bluetooth as well. You know, Watt Cycle seems to be doing some uh, neat stuff in terms of innovation, especially with their, their mini batteries. So, you know, hopefully, you know, that will continue as, as time goes on. But all in all, guys, I, I really do. I, I really like this 12-volt, uh, 20-amp charger. It's going to get uh, a lot of use uh, around here as my lithium battery collection grows. So, guys, I'm going to put an affiliate link below where you can pick up one of these. It is an affiliate link, which means if you use my link to purchase, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it's a great way to support Kemp Outside as I get a little commission on the sale. I'm also going to put a link to the Watt Cycle 12 volt, 100 amp hour mini. And then also guys, I have a promo code. So down in the description below, you're gonna see a promo code and it gets you 6% off at Watt Cycle. So check that out. Definitely save money if you can, right? So. Guys, if you have any questions about charging lithium batteries or the charger from Watt Cycle or the 100 amp hour mini, drop some in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Or you can connect with me on my other social media. I'm on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and X, or my website at kempoutside.com. Uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe, and ring that uh, little bell icon that notifies you when we release new videos. Uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of 12 volt stuff. Uh, everything from the 300 amp hour mini batteries from watt cycle that's going to go in the cargo camper to solar uh, to inverters dc to dc charge controllers We're, we've got a whole big build going on on the cargo camper this 100 amp hour mini is going to be in a portable power station build for the car or the van uh, i'm going to be doing some in the not too distant future i'm actually going to do a restoration on a 16 and a half foot fishing boat. Uh, it's gonna get a trolling motor, it's gonna get trolling motor batteries, all that stuff, probably, well, definitely lithium batteries for that. So we're gonna be doing a whole lot of stuff lithium battery related on the channel. So if you like that kind of content, definitely you know stick around. We also do all kinds of other stuff, camping, fishing, hiking content, gear reviews, how to's, tips and tricks, all kinds of stuff. So if you like outdoor content, you like 12 volt battery builds, stuff like that, 
definitely stick around. I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. Sometimes to be able to do that, you need some portable power. Guys, we'll see you next time. Take care. Thank mm -hmm. you.